Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Cartridge Fun. It is that time again where I share my finds with you guys. Uh, this time for the month of September. It really seems like I just did one of these videos. Uh, that just shows how fast time has been going by. Uh, I did come across a few items, not a lot. Actually, the month was fairly disappointing. Um, I had some high expectations to find some really decent items. Just It just didn't amount to anything. Um, we had a citywide garage sale, and typically I get really excited for the citywide garage sale. I found some really decent stuff last year. I came across a copy of Schoon for $10 and uh, a few other Uncommon Games for really, really cheap. So I was really excited about this citywide garage sale. And uh, so the whole family uh, got together. We were there really early. I think we got there at 7 o'clock once the doors opened and there was absolutely nothing there. There was more vendors for like candles and things like that and just no junk. I really like to go through junk when I'm going through those garage sales and there really wasn't uh, anything to really look at. I did come across a couple items, nothing too fancy, uh, but some things that I didn't have. Um, so amidst all of this, uh, this kind of clothing and candle stuff, uh, I did find a lady with just some random things, and she had a couple of NES games. Of course, she had uh, Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, which everybody has that. There was a Zapper, uh, and then there was a game that I didn't have, so I asked her how much she wanted for it, uh, and that game is uh, Eight Eyes. Uh, so not a fancy game. She wanted $2 for it, so I definitely picked it up. I didn't have it in the collection. So definitely happy to add this one. I haven't played it yet. Uh, I will definitely be checking it out though. Um, haven't really heard much about it either. Uh, she also had a Game Genie and this was uh, something that uh, I never had. I've always wanted, um, but I've always found them fairly expensive, 10 to $12. Uh, she wanted $2 for this. So of course I had to grab it. I probably will never use it, but uh, definitely something cool and Nintendo related that uh, I always like to add to my shelf. So, a Game Genie. And then uh, she did have a marquee for an arcade, and that is Donkey Kong Jr. Arcade. That one's hanging on my wall right now. Um, I, I'm not a big collector of these marquees, but I felt like I had to have it. It had Nintendo on it, uh, and just a really cool game that uh, I really enjoyed playing at an arcade. So. Happy to add that one uh, to my shelf along with my Ninja Turtles one and my Street Fighter one. Um, so those were all that I found at the, at the Citywide Garage Sale. Like I said, it was pretty disappointing. I had high expectations. They do one in the, in the spring and one in the fall, so I'm hoping the one in the spring is a lot larger. I think that's maybe where I got that Schoon copy. I'm not really sure. Um, so it was a little disappointing. But uh, I did find a few other things throughout the month. I did a giveaway, as you guys know, um, for the last finds video. And uh, the winner of that was Vigigamer. And it turns out Vigigamer actually lives in the same city that I live in. So we decided to do a meetup, and I wanted to get all that stuff to him, the mug, uh, along with some Mario figurines and the fruit snacks, of course. Uh, and so he decided to bring a couple of games that... Uh, that he had doubles of and wanted me to take a look and see if there was something that I needed for my collection. Um, so there was one that I didn't have and that's Destination Earth Star. Uh, it's not a really uncommon expensive game but uh, again I didn't have it for my collection and it should, uh, should clean up pretty nice. Um, but it was uh, really cool to uh, get to meet him and hang out with him for just a little bit. Um, and uh, he actually tagged me in a video not too long ago, so I'll be doing a tag video in the near future. So definitely cool to uh, add that to my collection. And then uh, I've got a call from a friend who owns a retro clothing store, and uh, she said that she came across a few uh, Nintendo Power magazines and wanted to know if I was interested in them. And of course I am. I, I don't have any uh, right now. That It's something that I've never really come across and the ones that I do are typically pretty ratty and torn and uh, just really incomplete. Uh, but this box that she came across, um, they're all in really good condition. And I would say that they're, uh, as far as I know, they're complete. They have all of the posters, the cards, um, and uh, all, of the, all the extra stuff in the magazines. So I got a stack of them. I think majority of those came from uh, late 93. 
uh, all of 94, all of 95. So there's quite a few magazines uh, and these are in no particular order right now. I'm gonna be working on a shelf and I might do a video of just a closer look of these Nintendo powers. I think I have kind of a goal that I would like to collect the first hundred. Um, I don't know. I haven't really been actively working on that, but uh, just some of the magazines that I got. Uh, Street Fighter 2, uh, Super Metroid. This one is uh, Yoshi's Island. So a lot of great Super Nintendo magazines here. Uh, Donkey Kong Country. This one is uh, Mega Man X2. This one looks like it's a Virtual Boy, yeah, a Virtual Boy um, edition. And I think there was uh, some glasses for this one in an envelope. Uh, and I have that in the box somewhere. Uh, but like I said, a lot of these are complete and they're in really, really good condition. Whoever got them, um, before me or the original owner, it looks like they never opened them, never took a look at them. Uh, but uh, I've actually found some pretty decent reading in them. I recently did an RTR on Beauty and the Beast and you guys can check that out in the description down below. And uh, it was actually fairly helpful. There was a walkthrough on it. So I was kind of doing some reading and learning a little bit about the game, which uh, made it a little bit more fun to play for me. Uh, so definitely happy to add all of those Nintendo powers to my collection. Like I said, I need to get a shelf together and uh, and display them a little bit better right now. So I haven't really taken them out of the box to, to look at them all, but a lot of cool items there. Uh, I did pick up a Nintendo Switch game. Nothing really fancy. We're kind of in a lull between uh, Nintendo Switch games. There are some big ones coming out next week and the following week and then of course towards the end of the year uh obviously super mario odyssey is going to be coming out i think that's next week uh but i wanted the game a little bit different now i'm not crazy about sports titles uh, but sometimes you just got to have something to kind of break up everything else so i decided to pick up fifa 18 and it's actually not that bad of a game it looks really decent uh, like I said, it's a nice change of pace from a lot of the cartoon style of games that I've been playing on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, so definitely happy to add it. Uh, a lot of great uh, career mode. Um, visually, it's a pretty decent game. So happy to add that one to my collection. Uh, it looks like my Switch collection is growing little by little. Definitely will be picking up uh, Mario Odyssey next week. And then I was thinking about getting NBA 2K. Not really sure. Uh, we'll see. Uh, so those are kind of the main items that I picked up uh, and then of course as you guys know September the end of September was the release of the Super Nintendo Classic. Uh, it was something that I was trying to pre-order for such a long time and just had zero luck. Um, I was trying to do it online and uh, they were sold out every time I tried. Uh, so I thought I would try on opening day. Well it turns out I had to work. I couldn't get off of work and uh, there were lines at uh, Toys R Us and, uh, and at Target and at GameStop and uh, I just didn't have time to stand in line. I actually got a call from Vigigamer and he said that uh, the Toys R Us had over 30 of them and there was only six in line at that time but I couldn't get away from work. Uh, but it turns out my wife was traveling for work so she stopped into Walmart for me and picked up the last one. This is the Super Nintendo Classic edition. I've actually been playing it quite a bit and these Nintendo Power Magazines have been really fun to uh, tag team with some of these games. I was uh, going through Super Metroid and going through the magazine as well. So definitely a lot of fun. Happy to add it to my collection. Um, I have the Nintendo Classic so happy to have both of them uh, in my collection and I'm actually pretty happy with how Nintendo has been uh, dealing with this. They've had quite a few out. A lot of people have been getting them. Uh, kind of reducing the scalpers, which is always really nice. Uh, I know in my city there were some scalpers on Craigslist asking a couple hundred bucks, but uh, they're still on there. Uh, so that means people are getting them and they're not having to uh, purchase from them. So uh, a lot of cool items that I picked up for the month of September. Like I said, nothing too fancy. 
Um, not a ton of games like I was hoping for, but uh, October is a new month. Hopefully I come across a few items. But that's all I had for you guys. Thanks for checking out this video as always. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at CartridgeFun. And I'll catch you guys later. See ya.